Hi guys, my name is Ozzy, aka Ozzy as Sprite, aka Sprite Man, Sprite Man, yeah that's me. And today, this is going to be the first episode of Heat Vision. Uh, I actually have a special guest, his name is David A. Sun. He usually reviews music and I review shoes, and we decided to just do a little special collab. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to be on the Kicks on Fire app telling you guys what the new releases are coming up for the March of February, or at least for the remaining days. My list is going to be a little bit shorter because I recorded this kind of late. But, I just wanted to go ahead and uh, get this video rolling. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Today we got a special for y'all. Me and Mr. Sprite Man himself are going to be looking at some of the most hyped release sneakers of the month of February. You know, since I review music, you know, they were ace on subscribe. Mm. And Ozzy is into fashion. We decided to make this collab happen. Let's do it. Let me pull it up on my iPad real quick. Alright, so first one we got is the Damian Lillard, the White Scarlet. These might be the most plain shoes I've ever seen. Adidas dropped the ball with literally everybody on their roster except for Kanye. Honestly, if it's not some Yeezys, I really don't care what they about to put out. I can already see these sitting on shelves. They probably saw a hoop shoes though. Up next, we got the Air Jordan Mid Disco Ball 1. Alright, so um, just off the mid label alone, these can't get any higher than a 1 out of 10. So, oh my god. I'm disappointed. What purpose do they serve? What fit you gonna wear with this? Aluminum foil? I didn't know Jordan Brand can kill the one. Come on. You know how hard it is to create an ugly one? God. Incinerate these. Alright, so first we got we got the Nike LeBron 17. And I don't know, man. These are, I have mixed feelings about these. They kind of look like cut up. You ever see like the sod that they put when a new neighborhood is built? Like the grass is just be all over the place. So it's like patchy grass and it's colored. I don't know. It just look kind of weak to me. Like, after the LeBron, after the LeBron 12s, I can't really rock with LeBron like that no more. LeBron 9 was his pinnacle when they had the Hornets and they had the Big Bang, the Big Bangs. Now, that was a good time for LeBron's. But after that whole period, basketball, uh, f sneaker wear hasn't been the same. Like, it's just, it's really just for playing basketball. Old basketball shoes that Nike made back in the day, you could hoop in them and you could wear them for style. These new basketball shoes, they're literally just for playability and just for basketball. That's it. No fashion to them whatsoever. Alright, so the next shoe, I want to tweak real quick, that's weird. Right. Kyrie 6, Oracle Aqua. So, my first thoughts are, damn, they're on the sixth one already? I personally don't like the silhouette or the colorway, but I like the idea. I love when Nike just made loud ass shoes. As actual basketball shoes, I'm positive they're solid. Look at how high the traction pattern goes up. And he got a strap on there too. I see why Kyrie dropped 54. Alright, so next shoe is the Nike Air Max 720. The Odell Beckham Jr. Slip Black. Uh, I don't know. It's it's, it's alright. Like, it's basically like an Air Max 270. But it has a strap on the on the top. It's kind of weird. Like, it's, it's just a strap in the middle instead of laces. Like, if it wasn't for the strap, the shoe wouldn't be that bad. And for retail for $200, I'm going to have to pass. This is weak. Like, I'm not really feeling it. Uh, for the next shoe, it's it's just a red version of that same shoe. Also whack. I'm not feeling it. Next is the Air Jordan 34. They're on the 34th one now? Bro, these are still going too? Like I said with Kyrie's. These are probably solid hoop shoes. But, I don't hoop anymore. So, you incinerator. Nike Air Fear of God 1 Strength. God, these look comfy as hell. I don't understand the hype for these, but they probably look way better on my eBay. Personally, I want them. Although it's just a sell them, I want them. Nike LeBron 7 All-Star 2020. It's wild these are old enough to retro. Although they look very dated, I can already see the oversized shirt and jean shorts. But when you turn off the lights, oh, that thing fire. Nike LeBron 17 Monstars. And like that, I run out of positive things to say about LeBron's. Is that foreskin on these? They wonder why LeBron's sit now. And that's because you charge 220 for excess from a circumcision. Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Women's UNG to Chicago. They really give women some of the best colorways. When I get to heaven, God gotta see me for making me a size 11. I actually like these though. Like I said, ones are a very hard shoe to make a bad colorway. And judging by these pictures, the quality on these actually looks sort of good. Oh, and they mismatch the insoles. Yeah, this is hard. Don C, Nike KD12. These are actually solid. I like these. 
This whole transparent aesthetic fits. It looks like a high-tech ice cube. Now I couldn't see these shoes getting too much wear off the court, but these middle schools will probably eat this up. Yeah, this is tough, even though he's a cupcake. Off-White X, Air Jordan 5. So is worn a style now? Remember when they retro those shattered backboard ones and they look like they were straight from Davy Jones' locker? Yeah, they're trying to make worn out as a theme. The outsole looks like a container I keep my rice in. And so does the lace lock. And that hole in the tongue is throwing me off so much because why? He should just cut the whole deconstructed aesthetic that he keeps on the ones. This isn't it. But you know what these will look great on? My eBay account. Instead. Adidas Yeezy 700 V3 Alva? The Yeezys have been going downhill for a while. The Yeezys have... God damn, shut up. The Yeezys have been going downhill for a while. And with this one, I think it's especially trash. See, the thing is, I saw the 500s, and I thought they were trash. I thought it looked like chewed gum. But then, I saw it on the fit, and I was like, damn, I like them. Now I got them. So, I mean, these probably will go way harder with the fit. But by itself, nah. Bro, his shoe looks like it's melting. Air Jordan SE Red Cement Chicago All-Star. I thought these were the DJ Khaled 3's at first. These look so much better than those. I felt the whole Jordan wave, but if I was still copping them, I'd get this. Although I think Mike is running the whole Nike Air on the heel tab into the ground. He should have just saved that for the OG colorway. But the next one right here. This one at first, this is the Air Jordan 3 Red Cement. And basically, I have the Black Cements, right? And it's literally the Black Cement, but wherever it's it's uh, black, it's red. For like the upper of the of the of this uh, shoe, right? And on the back, though, it says Nike Shy. Like, it says, it doesn't say Nike Air. It just says Shy City, like, Chicago. Because, you know, when Michael Jordan was wearing the Jordan 3s, he was playing for the Chicago Bulls. So, I think this is pretty cool. At first, the red, it seemed too loud for me. But I think I can make this work, you know? I can actually make this work. This look good. And I like when a shoe is known for having, like, a special logo on it. But then they go ahead and tweak something off of it. So, like, for example, I'm going to use the phone posit, uh, chrome, the chrome posit that came out for All-Star Weekend a few years ago. Like, it said Nike, but then when you tilted it at a certain angle, it would say NYC. So it's just like small stuff like that. It's just like it shows that the designers are actually doing something creative instead of just, oh yeah, here's a new, another All Star collab. We're just gonna do something weak with it. So you know what I'm saying? I, this is heat. My heat vision is, is turned on for this one. This is sort of fire. I thought Adidas Easy Boost 350 V2 tail light. This is actually a good colorway. I wasn't expecting this, but that orange tint really complements the gray. But I really like the whole translucent stripe. You know, the ones that are in the newer 350. I like what Some Adidas, Yeezy, Browns. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of when they had the 350 and they had the Oxford Tan. This is basically the same thing, but just darker. It's alright. Like, I, I will rock it, but am I going to go out my way to get it? Nah. And it comes out on, uh... Today, it comes out on February 22nd. Uh, I'm not really that, that hyped about it. It's alright. What are they doing right now? I'd actually get these. Alright, so... Before I start talking about these shoes, I'd just like to make it very clear that I am not a Travis Scott fan. I am not a Travis Scott fan. Not at all. I promise you. Alright, so like I said, not a fan. These are the most fire dunks I've ever seen. Let me stop. This is such a Travis shoe. He loves browns and flannels. Personally, I like the Air Force Ones that he did recently better. But you know, like I said with those Off-White Fives, man. These would look best on my eBay account. And damn, we really did say the best one for last. Out of any shoe on this list, yeah, these are my favorite. It looks like a classic one colorway. And how could you hit on that? I think this is an OG colorway too, I'm not sure. But these are hard. Yeah. If I said I actually might cop it in this video, that's probably about a 45% chance that I do. But this one, I'd say we're sitting at a solid like 90. Yeah, these are hard. And that's a review of the most hype sneakers of February. If you made it to the end, you might as well subscribe to my man Hey Ozzy. Get my man a 6K, you feel me? And shoot, slide over to my channel, get myself to 6K. I ain't even at 1K, but we gonna get there.
As he said, he's gonna put the link to my channel in the description. So if it's not there, you know, I'm just gonna be doing my Ayo, subscribe, y'all. New stuff coming soon on my channel. New stuff coming through on his channel. And if y'all rock with it, new stuff coming in this series. We out. Definitely.